Joseph Hoyt, Dallas Morning News. Tomasi, obviously, that interception ended up being a pivotal play. What did you see on that? And I guess how excited were you when you saw the ball actually out of his hands and in your grasp? Um, I was really just doing my job. Had to go off a container. It's really because of Willie. Willie came in and uh, pressured the quarterback to throw the ball, and I was just at the right place at the right time. But I was excited. Still getting tired. Still tired from celebrating. <laughs> Uh, Anthony Miller, XFL News Hub. Drew, how did it feel to uh, get your first start, and how did you think you played overall? Yeah, that was awesome to finally get a first start, especially professional ball. Uh, it's been a little bit, but super happy. Um, Got to win. That's all that matters. Uh, a lot of things to go over, correct, uh, and we'll be better next week. Hey, Drew. Matty Fresh, Spring Ball Boulevard. I saw you down on the sideline warming up before the game, and when The Rock said, let's go ball, I saw a little grin on your face. What does it mean in your journey to be able to be QB1 for the Arlington Renegades in this kickoff game? Yeah, um, like you said, man, this is the, the dreams and opportunity come together. Uh, we got a chance to, to play ball and keep playing as long as we can. So that's what we're out here to do. Um, I'm just ready to you know, keep playing this season, have some fun, uh, keep getting more wins. Hey, Drew, in the second half, it seemed like y'all went with more of a quick game. Um, how did that kind of supplement y'all and with offensively in the second half? Yeah, we knew uh, that, you know, our guys were going to make plays. We just want to get the ball in their hands. Um, really just wanted to put points on the board. Defense helped us out, helped us out today a lot, uh, and we'll be better next week. Peter Warren, XFL.com. For all three of you guys, you know, what did it mean to be out on the field today and be able to play again? Um. Obviously, we're all super excited, super happy. It's something we all have been working for. We love this game. We love everything it brings, the opportunity. Um, it, it's just, I mean, all of us are just happy to be here, man. Happy to play, happy to put on the pass, hit and hit a different person other than your teammates. Um, so, I mean, nothing but joy just from being out here, man. There y'all go. Um, I was just excited. I was getting so excited, I feel like crying. I'm like, <laughs> man, it feels good to be back. and be able to hit people in pads and it just felt good to play with the team like in the game. So, mm -hmm. man, I was just excited. I couldn't breathe. I was <laughs> out there like my heart was pumping. And man, I'm just thankful and, and happy to play this game again. Yeah, for sure. Like they said, man, just a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of a lot of gratefulness, uh, a lot of glory, for, uh, glory to God. So um, grateful to be here, happy, happy to be playing. Uh, Drew, Devontae Bosby's been on 13 teams since 2015. Um, obviously had a really pivotal pick six there. Yeah. One, what was your reaction to watching that pick six happen? And I guess is his journey, his playmaking in this game kind of emblematic of what this league and kind of spring football is about? Yeah, I was not surprised by that at all. Uh, I've seen it, you know, firsthand uh, on me in camp. So seeing him do that, it was, uh, you know, no surprise at all. Jacob Richmond, uh, JR Sports, Texas. Uh, as you kind of, kind of mentioned, you know, you spent all this time uh, working in practice, um, and then you get to do it on the field. Did you guys kind of learn anything? Was there anything um, that you weren't expecting of this kind of experience that you're hoping to take with you for future weeks? Go ahead. Um, I think, especially in these leagues, week one is a, is a little different one because you don't really have film on too many guys and the team. I mean, you can assume based on who the coordinators are and their past schemes and whatnot, but um, it's kind of just a adjust as you go. That's why you're kind of seeing some different adjustments come second half just because, you know, to start the game, you don't really know what they're going to do. You could guess and have an assumption, but it's all about adjustments and just kind of making it work, especially week one. Yeah, yeah. going off of that, like Sal said, um, we really didn't have film to watch at all. So a lot of it was just a guessing game going into week one. Um, and that's, that's kind of the nice thing. We're going to be able to go back and watch film on Houston next week uh, after they play tonight and be able to make adjustments for ourselves and, and go into game one or game two with a, a game plan. Ben Collins, BBC Sport. Um, just on the back of the question over there, I want to ask each of you, um, if you weren't playing with the Renegades right now, what else would you be doing? Oh, that's all. I'll be with my family, <laughs> with my daughter. and I just had a daughter that was born, so I'll, I'll be with her and just taking care of her. 
Yeah, if I, if I didn't have this opportunity, I'd probably be at home uh, working and sitting on the couch watching this game, just watching something. I don't know, but uh, I'm just grateful to be here, really. Yeah, I couldn't really imagine not playing, but if I would, I'd just be running my business. I got a clothing line, so I'd just be kind of fully attacking that. I mean, I'm still able to do both now, but um, yeah, I really wouldn't really want to think of that scenario. <laughs> Thank you, thank thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It is. Noah. Noah? Yeah. N-E-L-O-A.